Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Again, it's been a little bit since I did a video. I'm trying to get one every week. It's just a very busy season of life right now. And I'm just really trying to focus on my family, my kids. I'm a homeschooling mom. My husband has the most unpredictable work schedule of your life. Like, um, I really try not to let it bother me, but like he worked all day yesterday and last night he was like, don't kill me, but I have to go into work today. Um, so it's just, there's a lot that like rides on my shoulders and sometimes I just like want him to be home so I can just have a little bit sense of like, I'm not the only one in charge. Anyhow, I wanted to hop on here quick today and just talk about nutrition while pregnant. So I remember when I first became pregnant, I was like, oh, I know there's things like I'm not supposed to eat. Like, what should I eat? Like, how do I eat? Um, you know, like, what are the things I'm not supposed to eat? And like, why can't I eat those things? So there are these, all these things. And then if you go online, you get bombarded with all this different stuff. Like, I shouldn't be eating that. Um, and it was just really overwhelming. And honestly, if I could go back through what I've learned this past decade of, you know, half that decade was spent having children. Um, and if I could just go back, like, this is the information I wish someone would have told me. And I remember even asking my OB, like, what should I not be eating? And I remember him saying, like, don't eat, uh, like shellfish. Watch out. Like, you don't want to eat too much mercury. Don't eat cold cuts. Mm, like, don't eat raw, like, fish, like sushi, um, or like raw cheeses. And I think that's what he told me. And I was like, I, okay. Like, I just remember feeling like, I, I know, but like, what do I eat? <laughs> so I'm going to tell you what you can eat, um, to really reduce that. So number one, you don't want to, the reason you don't want to con consume raw foods and it's general also if you are not pregnant is just because like it can inhibit more bacteria and that bacteria can get to your baby um the same thing goes for cold cuts so they have this it can have this bacteria in it and i can't remember the name i want to say listeria and i don't think that's accurate um it could be you know if you know the per the actual name of what it is i think it starts with an l um Anyways, it's the same. It's the bacteria. You can eat cold cuts if they were like uncured, like the natural kind. So like Applegate, um, Applegate brand is a great one. And I can't remember. There's one that starts with an M. Anything that's organic, stick to the organic uncured, like no nitrates. Like, um, and you should do that in general anyways. So sticking to that, I definitely ate cold cuts. Um, I'm married to an Italian. I definitely ate soft cheeses also. Um, I was in Italy for some of my pregnancies and I mean, they feed their pregnant women. They want you to have a glass of wine with your lunch and they want you to have, you know, all their fresh cheeses. Um, and I was okay. I didn't really drink the wine. Um, but you know, again, it's kind of like cultural things. And that just kind of brings me to the point of like, you want to be eating what you want to focus on while you're pregnant and just throughout life in general, throughout your motherhood journey, my foot is falling asleep, is literally focusing on whole foods. So the less processed foods that you, you eat, A, the better you feel, B, the healthy you are, and C, the healthier your baby will be. Um, and I think it's really important that you set up your baby's eating habits while it is in utero. So while it's in there, it's tasting, it's sampling all of those foods. If you're eating like a high sugar, highly processed diet, that is literally what your baby is going to be used to um, when it comes to starting to eat. So it's just important to remember that like you're literally setting up the habits of your baby while it's growing. So it's best to set them up you know, while you're pregnant. Um, am I saying that, you know, we also live in America, unfortunately, and there's highly processed foods everywhere. There's food dyes in everything. So it's just important to start noticing that. Um, so whole foods, I always say, if it came from the ground or has a mother, that is whole foods. You want to eat things in their least 
processed state of food, okay? And then with that being said, you really just wanna focus on eating vegetables and then having high quality meats. And yes, you can have carbs, okay? Please don't deprive yourself from carbs. But you wanna have like, you know, whether you're, you know, eating fresh bread from the bakery or, um, you know, sticking to potatoes, sweet potatoes, you can have rices. Please eat pasta, okay? Eat pasta, obviously in moderation, but you can have pasta. Pasta does have a lot of good things as long as you're getting, you know, um, a lot of people like that chickpea pasta. Um, I tend to stick to the Italian brands. Costco has a really good organic pasta that is like straight from Italy. I can't think of the name of it. It's like black and white and it comes in a big like case. Um, so we get that or I buy Barilla. Um, like orzo, we eat a lot of orzo. Like I said, we eat a lot of pasta and those are things that I have always ate and continue to eat um, in moderation. But the main focus of your diet should be protein, vegetables, and then carbohydrates and water. Please drink your water. Like drink water and healthy fats. Like again, sticking to that whole food motto. So if you have not, I do have a pregnancy journal and it's, it. I call it a journal, a fitness journal. Um, it walks you through like pelvic floor work. Um, but I also give you literally a 40 week planner so you can plan your meals. Cause that's something that you can be in control of. Okay. You might not be in control of whether you get gestational diabetes or not, or, um, if you have a placenta previa or, you know, how your um, just some different things, okay? How big your belly's gonna get, how much weight you gain. You don't necessarily have certain control of that, but you can control what you put in your body and what you put in your baby's body. So meal planning is very effective. So it's very helpful to have that written out, tracking your water, you wanna stay hydrated. So I have that. I have sample meal plans for each trimester with um, recipes linked. So that just kind of gives you an idea like, oh, okay, I should be like choosing this, perfect. Um, very helpful. Also, in my book, I have a whole section on nutrition. Let me find it. Pregnancy nutrition right here. I also have postnatal, but I literally just go over what are whole foods, macronutrients, some examples of different things, whole food proteins. I literally go over how to build a plate for you. So it's, it's so simple. Like you don't need to count your macros. That works for some people. Doesn't work for busy pregnant moms, like, or moms who have, um, toddlers just doesn't work. So I show you how to literally build a plate so you can have everything else that you're serving your family. Um, but you are feeling your body to the best of its ability. So I just wanted to go over that. Like, don't, don't log into or like get focused on all of these things that you can't have and that you should be eating your macro content um, or eating like a fitness trainer, like unless you are one, obviously. But like if you're just like a regular everyday mom, the plate it method works great. Um, you don't have to count macros. You feel great. Um, it's not super, you don't feel restricted. It's just like, okay, I know how to do this. I know that my body needs protein, vegetables, healthy fats, some carbohydrates and going from there. So I hope that was helpful. If you haven't purchased any of these books, make sure you grab them. There's another book. I don't have a copy with me right now. Someone is borrowing it, but it's Lily Nichols. Um, she has a fantastic nutrition book. I'll make sure to link it below. Um, and then there's also a membership, uh, Ryan Kipping. Ryan Kipping. I think that's her last name. She has like a prenatal membership and she has recipes and she goes over all those questions. Like, can I have grapes? Do pineapple really induce labor? Um, really, really helpful. If you're one of those people that it's like, I just want someone to like, tell me exactly what I can and cannot eat. Um, or the why behind it. That's really helpful. And I'll have that all linked for you below. Um, and I will see y'all later. Peace.